Hello there ladies and gents and today we're going to talk about different movement mechanics which are dolphin jumping and bee hopping. I'm going to show you a couple of clips, well I'm going to show you a lot of clips with dolphin jumping however I think this is a bug and it's a glitch and people shouldn't abuse it and it's definitely getting fixed soon TM. However, bee hopping is a proper mechanic, it's difficult to do and there are lots of pros and cons about that and I'll teach you how to do bee hopping in the proper way. Alright, let's talk about bee hopping. I'll tell you about the basics and how to do the jump and also in which situations uh, that kind of bee hopping is applicable. Alright, that's how bee hopping looks like. How do we actually do it? First of all, you start running normally, just double your shift. Then you jump. Alright, that's the first jump. Double your shift, spacebar. After you land, um, you need to turn mid air 90 degrees to the left or to the right, depending on where you want to shoot and where you want to jump after that. And uh, after you turn mid air, you need to press right and space. So you press the button D and space. D and space. And then we just combine all of this. And the same thing applies to the to the left side as well. So if you're turning right side, you need to press A and space. And that's it. It's that simple. You can practice it in offline, you can practice it in online. It's not that difficult to do. Uh, there aren't any specific timings you need to follow. Uh, for me personally, after I do the first jump with Shift W, I just keep I just keep um, spamming space. So run, jump, and keep spamming space. And that's it. So, in which situations is bee hopping applicable? Um, I've tried it many, many times, and most of the time it's very difficult to kill people at medium range. Like, even if the guy's like right there, let's say behind this box, it's very difficult to kill him. You might get lucky if you're using a laser, uh, but most of the time it's very tough, and it's more practical just to do a quick peek and kill the guy. However, if the guy is very close, let's say he's around that line, then uh, it's a great idea to bee hop. You're gonna surprise the guy, he will be lost, he will not know what's happening and you can easily kill him. Just make sure you hit your shots. So yeah, as a rule of thumb, you need high ceiling to jump. In some places the ceilings are lower and you won't be able to jump fully. Um, I think it's not really applicable on factory. Also, try not to jump into open spaces like here for example, because when you do the jump, there is too many places you need to check and look at the same time if you're not sure where the guy is. Like if the guy is right there, yeah fine, but if you heard them on cars, there is no point to do it. In other words, don't risk too much. I was risking a lot, I tested it, it doesn't work. It works only close range, so remember that. And once again, make sure the ceilings are high so you don't hit your head. Dolphin jumping looks really funny from the third person perspective. However, as I already told you, I think it's a bug and I don't really want to teach you. I can't stop you from searching YouTube and finding how to do it, but if you do, Please don't abuse it too much, alright? And here is a couple more clips of b-hopping so you know how it looks like from both perspectives. Oh ho ho boy! Is in it? Oh, that was good. That was more or less situational. That was good, chat. <laughs> bro, that was a leg shot. I killed him with a leg shot. I mean, I do count this as semi b hopping, but bro, that was a leg shot. That was a good b. I mean, you can't call this a b hop, but that's that's the jump you use in b hopping. This is the way you jump. I said that's a good kill. Tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge problem, see? Because of the new, I don't even know if it's hitbox or, some, or something. It's very difficult to go through the door sideways. See? Like, I'm, I'm literally stuck. I, I, just can't, I just can't go through the door sideways. See this? You can only go through the door like this, facing it. That's a huge issue. That was kind of risky. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I, tr 
tried. I tried. He was way too far. He was way, way too far. Oh, I think they were about to break the armor. The Zabralo. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, chat. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Stolen. Literally stole it, bro. I didn't want to make this video too short, so there is a quick cut of my reserve raid where I killed six PMCs and got out super juiced. Fuck. That's a player, by the way. That's a raider. I, 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 don't, I don't have to kill him yet. I had a couple of white flares left in my stash and I didn't want to sell them because they don't sell too much so I just decided to take them into the reserve and pop them and it looked pretty funny. <laughs> hey yo! GG Hey, <laughs> you owe me a sub, bro Only if I knew how to I'm definitely not the most uh, Sub streamer in Tarkov category. Did you get a new tad? It's the same one, it's just a two pieces two pieces tat wait rook like light shooting at me yeah indeed <laughs>